Okay guys, um, somebody asked for a video on getting the beaver casters out and how to do it properly or you know to prepare them. So anyways, here you got, you got your skinned beaver completely. So you're looking just above the, the vent and you can feel them in there real easy obviously when everybody knows that. But what I do, I just pick up this loose fat and skin here. Now you want to be careful, just go a couple layers at a time. Push it through and then you'll see there's always the layer of fat and then a layer of meat around the casters. Hope you can see that. And I just get just through that layer with the knife and then I just use my thumb and you want to be careful. Like I know a great where to go but you want to be careful just uh, so you don't end up tearing the caster. Just peel all that meat off like so. Okay, there's one. Thumb and your finger just go around it. Pull it up nice and easy. So there you've got your casters out. Now, I'm going to take the camera and show you here. Now there's, you're going to want to cut it right there. Cut down here down to there and that's the one cut and then you cut up here after. Now I'll show you when that when I so just through that little skin spot right through there and then up towards the vent. Okay so you've got your connection right here. Now what you can do, I don't ever do it, but what you can do, and I've seen some guys do it, is take the same thread that you use for sewing up your beaver legs, if you do that, or if not, just a, so any real fine string, and you can tie that off right there and right here. Now when these dry, they'll generally, you know, when they're three quarters full like this one, um, they will generally dry close. So you, you're not going to have that liquid leak out too much when you ship it. But if you're worried about it, you can tie that off right there and right there, those two spots, and then you won't get any liquid leaking out. So now where I hang mine to dry, you see I have a three quarter inch board, or it's actually a broom handle, and I hang them like so and let them dry for a couple days or even one day till they're partially dry and then I'll just move because they're going to touch unless you get a bigger you know if you get an inch wide maybe it won't touch but I just make sure like these ones I did yesterday see there's a little spot that touched so now I'll just go bend this down so that they're not touching in the same place now they're just touching in a spot that's already dried and uh, then they'll dry completely now these ones here not these. The other thing is before you put them in the freezer where it's touching the wood you see will be the last place to dry. So you can just flip it over or just move it around a little bit and it will dry. These ones here are dry already. Now this one here has been there for a little while. These are ready to go into the freezer. They could actually have gone in a while ago but I haven't had a fire on in here for too much lately so so these five casters not this one he's not ready so those five can go into the freezer and you want to make sure put them in a paper bag okay that way the liquid won't it'll, if any does leak out it'll leak out and soak into the bag and not if it's in plastic as a camper molding so let's uh, see those five casters going to weigh in at twelve and a half ounces. So three quarters of a pound. So 
those five and they weren't the biggest casts in the world. They're just from the you know regular sized beavers. But those will be number one grade. And in the last sale, 60 bucks, so that's 45 bucks worth of caster right there. But anyways, you know, quick and simple. That's how you get those casters out of there. And now here is your oil glands. You know, some people take them out and use them for stuff. Like I said, when I was, you know, staying in the bush, I used to take these out and put them on my mitts and my mucklucks to waterproof them. And it, uh, you know, made them somewhat water repellent. Made them a little stinky, but I was in the bush. It didn't matter to me. Alrighty, guys. That's all there is to casters.